Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra versus 15 Pro Max speed test. It's finally here. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, go and see which one can get there first. Now, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra is the new king on the block for the Android world. And um, I'm gonna give you my 72 hours later update, but it's looking very, very beautiful so far. Apple has been around with the titanium. A lot of people saying Samsung copied that. Um, I wouldn't be, uh, you probably would be a little bit accurate in the color sense, but it's kind of nice to have competition. Apple boots up first over the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. So Apple retains its crown of booting up faster anyway, but that's only one area. So let's get into the next section. Okay, so let's go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor here for the S24 Ultra. Now you can lift to wake this thing up. Um, I don't know if I have it enabled, but it's very quick. Even with the screen off, if you know where it's at, it's very fast to unlock. So I think it's actually quicker um, to unlock the S24 Ultra. You can also face unlock, but it's not as secure um, over here. Face ID, very fast, very smooth. I'm still feeling the convenience factor of Face ID though, just because Face ID's convenience is really good. You can also speed it up a little just by going like that and just swiping in. Um, but still, the ability to not even have to look at your fingerprint sensor and just bang, you're right in there. I mean, I could go like this and be in the phone. You seen that? Let's do it again, one more time. Three, two, go. Oh, oh there I go, <laughs> there I go, acting cool. And look what happens. See what happens when you try to show off a feature? You get shown up in the video, but overall unlocking speed a little faster on the Samsung. Confirming the software, One UI version 6.1 on the Samsung. Uh, that's the current version security patch for January 2024. Over here, 17.3. Now, before we get into the app portion of this speed test, I just wanna talk about the 120 Hertz, the animations. Overall, just kind of look at how it feels. I gotta tell you, it's looking even more snappy than what I've seen on the One UI 6. However, I still am not sure that this is the most smooth phone in the world. Um, I'm gonna have to test this against the OnePlus 12, which I think might be still smoother than this phone overall. It might just be because One UI is just a heavier skin. I don't know, but Samsung has definitely went to town in terms of making this thing as smooth as ever because it is blazing fast and buttery smooth. And the days of Samsung feeling like like laggy and stuff like that. Those days have been long gone for a while. The iOS experience, I feel like it feels a little slower here on the animations, but it's got this consistency that's just so hard to beat. You just feel so, cons it's like a perfect appliance type phone. Like it just works all the time, buttery smooth, no issues ever. And like, I'm not saying there's no crashes, but I'm saying no issues with the smoothness. Okay, so we've arrived at the app test. Everything lined up the same on both. And if you're wondering why the Samsung screen doesn't look as vibrant, it's because I have it on natural mode. So pretty similar there. Let's go into calculator. The animation looks faster on the Samsung. Non-linear animations are now on the Samsung as well. Faster animation on the left. Weather faster there, I think that was the left. If I miss one, call me out. Let's go on App Store, Play Store. I mean, come on, that one was clear as day. Let's go over here to apps. And that one's faster on the Samsung. Now, Samsung phones typically always start out very quick, but the thing that they really fixed um, last year with the S23 Ultra is staying quick throughout the duration of your ownership. So that was still loading up. Throughout the duration of your ownership, the Qualcomm for Galaxy chip is specifically designed to boost the performance in the Galaxy phones. That was faster on the right, given that one at Apple. Also, you seen right there when I scrolled, there was like a little chop. Now I won't blame Samsung for that. I think some of the Android apps are not quite as well developed as um, they are for iOS. That could be that. Let's go into Twitter X. I think, I didn't even see that one, so I'm not even gonna make a statement. I was looking at the camera. Right there on the left to get in. Let's go into Instagram, but I'm really enjoying this flat display, man. I think that was a Samsung. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> it just feels, and I'm enjoying it a different way. Like iPhones have flat displays forever, but with the Samsung S Ultra, the S S24 Ultra, this thing just feels like a little mini Samsung TV, especially now that it's a flat screen. Curved screens, pretty nice looking, but Hard to put screen protectors on. You could see on the left is the Samsung. Let's go into Amazon. And that one's the Samsung again. Starbucks. 
about even. Let's go on to Temple Run 2. Some people ask me, why does this matter? Like, um, I don't care about a two second difference. No, it matters to me because when I'm paying a grand, I don't, I want, I don't care if it's two seconds. If it's a faster phone, I'm going to be happy about that. Performance is just one area of the phone and that's what I'm covering here. Yes, some of these things don't really push them to the max, but I also don't sit around and push my phone to the max. If I'm going to go max on a phone, I'm going to be doing more of my video work and I find that the Samsung doesn't really lag up there. The iPhone doesn't lag up there. When I'm doing 8K, 4K 60, when I'm doing you know some video rendering, they're both solid there as well. The iPhone faster on that game. Let's go ahead and hit play. I do have to say though, in the experience area, the punch hole display is definitely nicer. And I don't know, it seems like every year they're just shrinking that hole a little bit more. It could just be me, but it just kind of feels that way. Which app were we on? I'm getting distracted. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2. I was getting distracted by the Dynamic Island. Not nah, messing with you. The punch hole just seems to be getting smaller and smaller every year. And the thing is, is that um, why don't we just go to undersplay camera? Like I know Samsung probably wants to do that, but they probably don't feel like the quality is just good enough yet. Uh, but I, I see an all screen Samsung S25 Ultra, maybe 6 Ultra. I feel like it's coming. Did you see that news about the Samsung chairman saying that they weren't happy about the current innovations? That's a good sign. That means the boundaries are going to be pushed again. Looks like Samsung lost it here on PUBG. Let's go into Asphalt 9. But this is the load times. Now the sustained performance though. I will tell you, I've already been testing the S24 Ultra. Its heat management is definitely better than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So if you want to use um, if you want to use these phones for gaming and you want to do it for a while, the 15 Pro Max definitely got that fixed in a, some recent updates. But I feel like the performance will be better sustained on the Samsung Geekbench 6. And Apple is going to likely improve the heat management on the next iPhone this year. So I'm looking forward to that. I still really think that the iPhone just has a, man, I, I know it sounds like, come on, like Samsung's killing it right now. They really are, but I still feel like Apple's animation is just a little bit better, but Samsung is really right there now before it was like not even close, but now they're really right there. And you could see that was, I think Samsung on the camera. Overall, I feel like the animations um, make the apps look snappier and some apps are just simply faster to open on the Android. I think that the iPhone retains a nice consistency, but some of the apps were slower. Um, the animations just feel slower on the iPhone, but they do look nice. Um, over here, they're snappy and fast and the best I've ever seen. Let's go ahead and check the RAM management now. When I said the best I've ever seen, I'm talking about for Samsung phones. Let's go over here so don't get it twisted. But you can see, definitely quite nice. And everything's open there. And I didn't really lower the animations. I didn't go to developer options, nothing like that. So this is pure how you would get the phone right out of the box. I also installed a screen protector on board. And somebody asked me, is there a screen protector? No, but when you pre-order, they've been throwing in screen protectors. Um, and they have a video showing you how to put it on. It's super easy to put a screen protector on this now. Just loving this flat screen. And the flat screen though, kind of reminds me, perfect. You've seen that perfect animations. We didn't really have any issues. I just want to quickly show off how they look now. You can see they're definitely much better. You can even stop it mid app. Not that you're going to be doing this, but I'm just saying they're much smoother than ever before on a Samsung phone. And it didn't reload anything and see. So let's go over here. I still feel like that swipe looks nicer on the iPhone. That gesture bar, Apple has got this on down man like that gesture bar is just ridiculous okay eight gigs of ram i think ebay was reloading a little thing yeah it just i think it's still visually more pleasing if i'm being honest with you maybe a samsung could just like uh slow like make it just look a little more visually pleasing now they got it to the point where there's really no issues with the speed anything like that there's no choppiness but for some reason, Apple still just looks a little more visually pleasing. I just have to be honest. I'm, I still, I'm not saying it's a better phone, but 
it's still the animations still don't look quite as visually pleasing to me to my eye anyway as the iphone so maybe this is just a category apple will always have a victory in we'll see but i'm definitely applauding samsung's efforts because they are really crushing it here with the performance and the speed um, but both of these pretty much even in the RAM management, but the iPhone did reload eBay, but it's, it's pretty close though overall. Okay, so the Geekbench 6 score is in, and wow, look at that score on the iPhone. That is like MacBook level scoring over there. 7258 in the multi-core, wow. <laughs> look at that single core on the Samsung though, that's pretty good for Android, as is that multi-core not very far behind but still looking like the A17 Pro chipset might be the more powerful chip um, from a sheer CPU standpoint. Okay, so this was a lot closer than I thought. And if this is any indication of the scores we're gonna be getting on S24 Ultra, look out because the OnePlus did better than this. You'll see right here, 42.14, um, 25.24 average frame. Over here on the right, this was a lot closer than I thought, 38.99 and 23.3. FPS. So this is scoring better than 91% of other devices and the iPhone 89%. So like 2% better for the S24 Ultra, meaning we're quite tight once again here. Last thing I want to do is run a quick speed test. I am connected to the same Wi-Fi network and I'm going to go ahead and see if they can pull in those same Wi-Fi speeds. And um, how are we doing over here on Samsung? 675 megabytes down. I always talk about how the Samsung has some of the better mobile strength, and I still agree that that is the case to this day. 23 on the up. Now this is the same server. Let's see if the iPhone can pull in even better download. Wow, we had a much better download. I wonder if they're doing something to make that even faster. Could just be this one just had a simply a faster score right here. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that one. What is my final conclusion? I'm not calling a direct winner here, but there are areas each win. So the iPhone wins in the CPU benchmark, the Samsung won in the GPU benchmark. The Samsung has quicker animations, I would say. It feels like a snappier, faster phone. Um, the iPhone still feels like a slower, but buttery smooth kind of animation phone, um, but its consistency is nicer I, I still think than the samsung it's still form you know appliance kind of feel over here does everyday works or function productivity business boss feel over here on the samsung so these are both kings in their respective um, market for whoever's going for each of these i still feel like the ultra phone just looks bigger and beastlier than the iphone though um, so i'll probably compare this to the s24 plus as well so let me know your thoughts on these two and if you enjoyed the video click the like button for me subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you all in the next speed test nick here be sure to be well and peace